Bonjour. Bonjour. No. <laughs> well, she's got that right. I'm Brian. I'm Michelle. We are cruising with the Coleman's and today we climb to the top of the Alps. And it's our last day in Switzerland. Tomorrow we're in Italy. Hence, Bonjourno. So we're right here in the front of the church in Borg St. Pierre and we have a decision to make. The Via Francigena route officially on the signs and on the map. And on the app. The app tells us to turn right and go that way. However, our friend Sandy Brown and his guidebook tells us to go that way. It's a half a kilometer longer, which sounds crazy when you're going straight up, but it says to conserve energy. Because it's not nearly as steep on his route. So. <gasps> which way? I think we're gonna, I'm gonna have faith and someone I've not met yet, uh -huh. <laughs> but I'm coming for Sandy, you. Sandy, we're coming yeah. for you and Luca. <laughs> um, I'm, I think we're gonna, I like the words conserve energy. I would agree. So it's 6.45 in the morning. There's rain coming in. Around two. Again, no, it's coming in. One. At one, uh, so the goal is to get to the pass before the rain. So let's go. Andiamo. 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 To the left. Michelle, this is the not as steep route. What do you say? I mean, it's not steep. That's for sure. <laughs> Getting out of the village was straight <laughs> up. I needed a ladder. No, <laughs> we've been on more, so not so steep, steep. <laughs> we probably have some of this today. Right now, I'm pausing to conserve energy. Borg St. Pierre is behind you. Uh, yeah. Col du Grand Saint Bernard is in front of us. There's our first view of the VF on the other side of the valley. It's about 40 meters below us. So where both routes have been steadily climbing on a gradual climb, they're lower, which means now they have to climb all the way to the top of that dam, just like us. But we're starting at the advantage of being halfway up. The other challenge is um, that is all grass and it's wet. Just and from so, the dew and the overnight rain. Yeah, so I'm glad we're here so that my shoes stay dry. And yes, that is a beautiful cascade <laughs> behind Michelle on the other side of the valley. Amazing. I know. So Michelle, beautiful. is it time for your Sound of Music moment? No, not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Oh, you're making us wait. The anticipation. Oh wait, I'm sorry, the anticipation. <laughs> we made a break for breakfast, which we got at the restaurant last night. It was just a couple little penatone muffins, basically the Italian version of a little Debbie snack cake. <laughs> they, were, and they were fine. They were really actually pretty good. Um, and now we're ready for our climb. You can't really see much of the road, but there are one, two, I think four switchbacks that go up a couple of short ones and a couple Good of really thing long I ones. Saved conserved energy. And soon we get to the top. And the view. And the view, the payoff. Someone's car camping at the point. How cool is that? We made it to the top. Woohoo! Almost. I mean, I mean, Maybe a little tiny bit more. Is it the top for the day? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But there's the dam behind us and the mountains and the pass. And it's this is interesting. This is the road that's leading to the tunnel. I guess it never occurred to me that the tunnel was this high up. But you see the road is all covered with a snow shed, which helps prevent avalanches from covering the road. And it means they don't have to plow the road because it's covered. Um, and there's a waterfall. There's waterfalls everywhere. It is just wow. And that's where we came from, way back there around that corner. I read last week that the official snow total for this winter was seven and a half meters, which is oh, lower than the 10 year average, which was 10 and a half meters. And I'm guessing this lake is very low as a result of that low snowfall. After some road work debris that was in our way, we found our way back here to cross this ravine. Flat 
at the top of the dam was nice relief. Next high point, <laughs> and now we go down. We go down okay. to the next high point. We've come a good way. I wouldn't want to build this. We are in the middle of our second downhill of the day, and it feels fabulous. Can't do any more? No more. I gotta go get my pack. reached the snow. Have we reached the top, Michelle? But guess what? What? Tomorrow's all downhill, baby. Hey, it's all downhill to roam from here. No, it's not. <laughs> Don't tell the people the wrong thing. We know better, but tomorrow, which is the only thing that matters, is we're almost at the top. And tomorrow's downhill. <laughs> Our pilgrim friend Conrad up ahead with the blue pack cover. If you can follow the road, it is leading to our pass. However, the road takes switchbacks and we do not. Huh? Yeah. got a little narrow. That's really slippery. Yeah. Brian, you go first. chances. Our destination is in view, but we have an obstacle. Here goes nothing. I thought we were out. I quit. I was really taking a nap right here. Yeah, sounds cold. When Napoleon left Grand St. Bernard Pass in 1800, they say he slid down on his butt. Michelle, what say you? That 
6.45 this morning. We started somewhere way, way, way down there. And it is now 2.30 and we have arrived to yes. here. We're not quite to the top, but we're so close. So close, like. And what follows may not be the best video, but I want to get going up over the top into the pass. <clears throat> so. Andiamo. Video be damned, here we go. Andiamo. Andiamo.